Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. This is going to go over uh, love, money, and health. The angel that's coming through this week very strongly is the angel Jophiel, the spy of God. He's got some important information for you in matters of love. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the astrology angel. Thank you for joining us. Now, this week the theme is you're going to get to the same place you're going to end up in the same place no matter what you do. So, you might as well make yourself comfortable and enjoy the ride because you can make it fun or you can make it painful. It's up to you how you take your life. You can uh, take each day and do the best you can but also make it fun and enjoyable or you can have a miserable time. Again, you're going to end up in the same place. It's up to you. And we're not really talking about death per se. We're talking about anything. Now let's get right to matters of love. The theme for love is that you've got to take every opportunity. However, you don't have to uh, take those opportunities in such a way that they're going to you know, make you feel like you don't have any energy for anything else. Because those kinds of uh, love frivolities so to speak dripping with insincerity don't really go anywhere now do they they're just so much fluff they're not really anything to write home about so what you want to do is you know use your instincts because if you use your mind you'll fail in love and if you use your heart you will fail miserably in matters of love. You've got to use your instinct. Okay? You've got to use the belly chakra, the cauldron in the belly. You've got to use that part of your inner alchemy. If you do that, then your instincts will be good. And your instincts will be right on cue because people can smell your fear and they're going to use it against you. And they're going to take credit for everything you do. So just understand that, and you'll be okay. Because love matters also have to do with friendship. It also has to do with family and romantic love. You know, there's, unfortunately, you know, there maybe aren't enough words for love. You know, they, they say that the English language doesn't have enough words for love you know you should you know there's different ways of saying love in you know different languages and it has a different meaning well we have that too we just call it a different word we call it friendship not love but we call it friendship love or best friend so you know in every language there's a fine line between love and friendship there's a fine line between love and hate because it's the same thing every emotion has an opposite so if you stay calm nothing will jump up and bite you. If you get all upset, things are going to jump up and bite you. Okay? So just remain calm. There's going to be a lot of people uh, trying to get you to feel that you're being spied upon or hacked or that people can see what you're doing or know everything you're doing and you know somebody must think this or must know this and no they don't nor do they care <laughs> they what do they care about let's all say it together ladies and gentlemen everybody only cares about who about themselves that's who now they may say they care about this or that or the other thing but anything they see is outside themselves is just a projection of them and everything outside of ourselves is just a projection anyway so it's not that people don't care but again and that's true you do have to take care of those in your charge I mean you have to use your instincts because if you say okay well I'm gonna find a way to handle all my emotional relationships and I'm gonna handle them all the same and then I'll never get hurt or never get in trouble or never get embarrassed or never have anything bad happen to me ever again well there's no fun in that and besides it doesn't work you have to be able to change your game right you have to be able to change using your instincts 
because God gave you your instincts for a reason. So use them. Get more in touch with those inner animal instincts because humans are animals. We have an animal brain. We have a reptilian brain. Everybody does. Or you wouldn't be having a heartbeat if you didn't now, would you? So we all have, you know, one part of the brain that's built upon another part of the brain. And what's being built now is further functions of our brains. And our instincts are being heightened, not to harm us, but in order that we may actually survive, and not just survive, but do very well. Do very well as things kind of get more and more intense because the birth pangs of the earth are coming closer and closer and more intense and more intense and that's going to affect your love life now Joe Fiel uh, you may think that a spy is always something bad but spies are really there in order to try to understand exactly how everybody feels so that ultimately peace can be made by bringing negotiations back to the most intelligent now the the angel the archangel lucifer is obviously known for his beauty and his intelligence he's the most intelligent angel and under him is Raziel. Raziel holds a very high position. Those two can get confusing, just like uh, Jehovah and his wife, the Shekhinah, can be confused with each other because they look so much alike. So understand that the, the Jophiel spies for God and also for Lucifer because, after all, anything God created works for him. Right? Because God created Lucifer and God created Satan. And in, if you read the book of Job, Satan works for God. Obviously, they send him in to see if you're faithful or not. If you are, you get brownie points. And if you're not, you get demerits. It's very simple. So that's going to go on. So mind your P's and Q's. Cross all your T's and dot all your I's. You'll be all right. Okay. Now that's uh, love. Now, money your money transmission again Joe, Joe Field just wants to come through ah, so we'll let him money go ahead his message is go ahead and react to those who attempt to fool you and cheat you out of your money or cheat you out of your time or you know get something for free that you didn't offer and not take the thing you did if you're doing business with anybody so what you want to do is you have to offer them a deal they can't refuse and they're going to have to offer you a deal that you can't refuse because business is booming for you is it not so just let everybody know that you know you're willing to make deals they can't refuse and you are and they're willing to make deals that you can't refuse it works both ways and when business is booming, people start to push people away, you know? When, when there's just too many people who are trying to get your time and your energy, you have to start taking on employees. You have to start looking at taking on employees because at one point you have to delegate to, to managers. Uh, people who are business owners who are trying to do everything because nobody can do it as good as you can, what you're going to have to do is hire people and delegate. And that's very, very hard for most people who are business owners, especially small business owners. Because if you own a small business, you own a small business and you're a business owner. Okay, going on to the health part of this transmission. Again, all the archangels chimed in earlier, but Joe Fiel wanted a chance, so we're giving him a chance. Health. Okay, this is very important. 
you're getting to the end of your energy. There's only so much, and it, it can be recharged, obviously, but you're, you're starting to get to the end of your energy. Because, you know, February is a short month. That's all. And people, are, again, are going to be saying, oh, did you see that what you did? Well, that's how we curse you. Don't listen to it, because behind every curse that a person tries to give you, God is giving you a blessing. Because God is using their evil to bless you. So don't worry about it. Just see the good in it, no matter what it is. You've got to see the opportunity. And there's always a good opportunity for you. And if you see that, you'll know the mind of God. Because that's all God cares about. Okay. Now, getting to the end of your energy means that you need to either, you know, slow down or delegate or just, you know, just make sure that your delegation of time to yourself is something that you feel like doing. So, again, be productive each day. Do what has to be done. And what doesn't have to be done, put off till later today or tomorrow. It's very simple. And then, uh, because you'll know whether or not you're getting a cold or flu when you start to feel, you know, like you are. You, if you right there, you just sort of slow it down just a bit and calm it down just a bit, and and let somebody deal with their own feelings. You don't have to uh, take on everybody's silliness all the time. You don't want to be the rat in the cage with the little sugar water that you're licking. You don't want to do that. So don't don't do that. You know, then then the the rats that they've been experimenting on sort of take on, you know, uh, different genetics from all the experimentation. Something's got to go haywire, right? And after a while, that rat kind of acts like the Incredible Hulk and bursts out of his cage and pops him in the face, those who are, you know, experimenting on them. You understand. So that's what's going on there. So when you start to feel like you're getting like that, do what you got to do. And make yourself strong. Say, is this healthy? If it doesn't feel healthy, stop. Go a different direction. If, if, if you love, like for say, you, you love a certain song, and it's making you feel good at first, but then and it's supposed to be so positive and wonderful and inspiring, but you start feeling bad, turn it off and turn on something that truly inspires you to be strong and healthy. That'll get you somewhere, really. Now, we're not telling you not to do your work. We're not telling you to ignore people who need assistance. But we are telling you that you're going to What's the old, the old uh, parable? That you're going to do better, much better, and so is the other person or the group that you're trying to help, if you give them and teach them how to help themselves rather than just feeding them for a day. So in other words, rather than feeding someone for a day, teach them how to build their own business and we're all guilty of wanting to give handouts to those who are in need those that we see in the street or that we think is not doing well we want to hand things out for free but at one point you have to teach them how to build a business and after you've taught them how to build a business you have to show them how to make their business work and that comes to example. It, it doesn't come through what you say. It comes through your example. Because people that look up to you are going to follow your example. And that doesn't mean that we all have to behave alike either. Because we're all very unique and different. And that's been the key uh, phrase for a while now. That things are going to be more unique and more specific because specifically 
the devil's in the details and it's the specifics is where you find those details that's your general caveat you're going to want to watch our videos our monthly videos because we get very specific about what, who's got to watch what when because there's a lot going on so make sure you watch your monthly videos if you want to know what's going on in the blood moons you need to watch our yearly videos okay ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining us I am Pastor Rosemary, your astrology angel, and we'll see you next week.